All right, so I'm going to explain how to mine Rincoin. To start, looking at Zergpool, we can see that despite being a new altcoin, barely two months old, I believe, it's already being heavily mined here. Let's see if it's on CoinGecko. R-I-N-C-O-I-N. -I -I nope, not listed. Let's check coin market cap. Oh wow, it's not there either. I don't think I've ever seen a new coin being mined this much and still not be listed on either of these crypto indexes. Interesting. I'm liking this so far. Heading back to Zergpool. As we can see at the time of this recording, there are about 3,000 users mining Rincoin on Zergpool. Very nice. There are a few mining programs you can download. I'm personally using SRB Miner. Of course, I'll include all the necessary links in the description below for whichever miner you prefer. Go ahead and download your preferred miner. I'm also using an online wallet for now. It's really easy to set up. Alternatively, you can use the official Rincor wallet. Now, for setting up on Zergpool, there are a few pools to choose from. But in this video, I'll be using Zergpool. For the configuration, select your region. Choose the Rinhash algorithm. Enter your wallet address and give your worker any name you like. Before you extract the miner, make sure to add it to your antivirus or OS security exclusion list. Otherwise, it will likely get flagged. Next, locate the Rincoin config file and open it in Notepad. Paste in the configuration details from your chosen pool. Since Rincoin currently only supports CPU mining, and you probably don't want it using all of your CPU threads by default, make sure to add CPU threads X anywhere in the config line, replacing X with the number of threads you want to dedicate. For reference, I'm using an Intel CPU. And that's it. I hope you found this video guide helpful for learning how to mine Rincoin. Thank you so much for watching all the way through, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.